Welcome for a longer tutorial on the usage of uh, the Adam for Eve market trend functionality. First of all, you go to Adam for Eve. Um, in order to do that, you go to Adam for Eve.eu. And once you arrive on the site, um, you can you already see here on the left side um, a quick peek into the market trend um, and the market trends of some uh, distinct objects of interest. And then you can go either by this link or in the top menu to the full market trend view. And once you arrive there, let's make the screen a bit bigger. Um, once you arrive there, um, there are currently different categories uh, which are being displayed. Uh, in future, there will be the opportunity for yourself to define what kind of category you want to see. But at the moment it is fixed. Um, furthermore, the data is currently uh, fixed to JITA. So you see only the difference uh, in prices from uh, the JITA price. Uh, location. Uh, also in future um, you will be able to select uh, the location since uh, the data is already in the database um, but the selection has not been programmed yet. Uh, nevertheless, um, so what do you see um, except for these two tables in the top left? which are um, fixed for a specific group. Um, you see for each category like uh, ships in the top, um, modules uh, in the middle for example, um, or materials, uh, planetary interaction uh, materials. You see one table each for price drops and uh, price rises. Um, so, of course, price drops are interesting if you want to buy in. Price rises uh, is interesting uh, if you want to sell uh, something that hopefully you've bought uh, prior. Um, also, for clarification, of course, this is mainly interesting for station traders interested in long-term investments. Um, so, this is nothing, for example, we see here the catalyst. Uh, seems to have dropped. Um, this is something that uh, if it's really low, uh, you buy in and you keep for as long as until it rises again, um, which can be days, weeks or even months. So it's not smart, uh, short frame investment. Good, so let's uh, take a look. Currently this is sorted by one day. So price change in the last 24 hours um, and the first 10 uh, results are being displayed. Um, here on the side you've got the opportunity to sort by different uh, measures. Um, so for example by week what dropped um, in the last week or even by year. Um, what are the, the major items uh, that changed over the year. Um, so let's go to week, uh, which is mostly the interesting part. Um, now if you've got something that looks interesting and uh, anything that has all categories read for buy um, is interesting, um, then um, you want to see the history in order to judge uh, yourself if that is a valid buy or not, um, because these numbers uh, not always represent uh, a valid buy. Uh, in order to do that, uh, there are three links currently here to the major sources of market history information. Um, the first one, of course, is the local market history information uh, here at Adam for Eve. But if you prefer, you can also go to e directly to Eve Central or um, to Fuzz Work um, and the history there. Um, so if you go to Fuzz Work, uh, it directly shows here um, for the Harpy the market history. 
and uh, for Eve Central um, it shows mainly the orders since there's no real history there but we're going to look at the local history implementation and uh, here uh, you see different information which uh, should help you make an informed decision if you want to invest into this commodity or not. Now first of all price and build history um, back until uh, 2014 so if you look at the current price um, which is uh, at 18 million 18 million is across the whole spectrum the absolute minimum um, so that is we were somewhere at 90 million um, some months ago but 80 million uh, wasn't uh, or isn't a, a value in the history now if we zoom in we see a steady decline across uh, the last weeks also interesting to look at is how buy and sell volumes did in the history so you see there's a slight increase in the supply um, and the demand is on a quite low but not so really historically low um, value and the traded amount is also not uh, really out of uh, out of band um, by the way if you want to zoom into here um, there's no slider uh, like it's uh, in the price uh, graph you just uh, click and drag and then uh, you can zoom into this graph uh, if you double click onto the graph then uh, you zoom out again and the depth um, diagram you see how far the different buy and sell orders go um, so you see there's a lot of uh, sell orders that are at uh, 22 million which was the previous um, previous ledge here um, and that the current at the current level you have about 48 um, harpies which are uh, allocated at 90 million uh, so here you can also make a decision is this just one harpy which indeed uh, it looks like it's one harpy which is at 18 million um, then you've got two more at 18800 and uh, then uh, the volume picks up at about 19 mil uh, yeah my 19 million um, so also here you can make an, a decision is that a price where you already want to buy in um, or you want to wait this out um, if you want to look at the market orders directly um, this is here at the top um, there's the different uh, market categories um, which you can uh, look at uh, but the most interesting is this button which uh, takes you directly to the market orders for the harpy so you can see Jita here's the one uh, sell order uh, for uh, at 18 million and uh, all the other orders as in the depth graph um, the age uh, in this column you see the age of the request um, so currently um, we see that this data is about 20 minutes old uh, if you want to refresh uh, this you need to select a region this is currently a global or a galactic uh, so to speak so you see uh, the orders in all regions and you see also that Jita is being refreshed every hour uh, automatically uh, the other regions aren't therefore the yellow age um, if you want to have real-time data so to speak um, you select uh, no not uh, Jita you select the forge the forge set the filters and now you see that here the forge is selected if you now go to show orders again boom um, the order is from right now uh, the order list is from right now since it's been freshly pulled uh, from crest you can of course 
Um, now deselect uh, that filter again, go again to show orders and now you see, okay, Jita is updated, but the other regions are not updated. Um, and you can do this, of course, for the other region. So Harpy looks interesting. Um, do you want to buy out uh, these or do you want to wait if um, further stock is being moved to lower to these lower levels? Your decision to make, um, but at least you have identified that uh, you should keep an eye on the Harpy and that is the whole uh, meaning of this overview. Um, you can then look at this in order to identify possible trade commodities um, that you can in, uh, that you want to invest in um, and that uh, are profitable uh, to invest in. Of course, um, this doesn't respect any patch changes. Um, this uh, doesn't respect any um, meta changes of any large alliances um, or any events. Uh, for example, for Quaff Zero, um, there's always events and you see uh, the according drop. Um, so therefore the market analysis, the trend tool has highlighted this um, uh, latest on this drop. Uh, here and if you've bought in well that would have been a bad time so you still need to take uh, care uh, of the information uh, about such events or patch notes the decision uh, to invest into a commodity uh, even if based on the information here is of course your own Thank you very much for listening. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. If you've got any uh, requests, uh, anything that you would like to see or that would help you, uh, also free, feel free to reach out um, and it might just make it onto the, um, the to-do list. Thank you for listening and good luck with your investments.